All right, so following up on that big orange battery pack I was crying over in a previous video, I've now painstakingly disassembled it and uh, tested every single set of uh, six parallel cells. Uh, these are two amp hour uh, cells uh, and we've got them rated and binned according to their capacity and it's just staggering the variety we have in here. Uh, so uh, the way I've tested the capacity is I've used my proper battery tester at 10 amps which shouldn't be a problem for the 12 amp hour cells even if they're not made for high rates. That's a bit over one amp per cell, shouldn't be a problem. There's a rather accurate device, it's it's not going to be measuring wrong, it uses four wire measurements uh, for, for, for the voltage cut height and so forth. It's, uh, it, it's a good way of testing them. Uh, and uh, the range of capacities we have is uh, 0 0.9 amp hours at 10 amps all the way up to 9.2 amp hours for that one uh, and everything in between with no real uh, bell curve or anything going on they're just really randomly distributed across uh, the entire range uh, and what's more we don't I can't for the life of me figure out any trend uh, as to uh, what would cause which cells to go bad? Uh, I've kind of, for, for some some of these, uh, sadly not all of them. I've got notation for where in the pack they were physically, uh, and if we uh, imagine that heat would have caused this kind of failure, we would assume that for once, closer to the edges of a pack which are running cooler would always be performing better. But that's not what we see, uh, because this one is label seven. This one was right at the edge of a pack, an end cell furthest away from the center of heat, and it's come out at four amp hours. Uh, whereas uh, this one labeled zero at 9.2 amp hours was the other end of the same uh, cluster of cells. Uh, so that's uh, end cells at wildly varying capacities. Uh, and uh, here we have a center cell number six. Uh, coming out at 8.4 amp hours. This cell has run significantly hotter than this one at 4 amp hours, yet it's got towards the capacity. Uh, and we're just seeing similar things all around. There has a number 5 cell and a center cell at 7.8. Uh, and those really bad guys, I don't think I have data on the position, sadly. And uh, no, these are uh, just uh, not labeled. Uh, so yeah, the, what I can gather from this is just, just that uh, the quality of these cells is what's caused this issue. Uh, it, it's just so low quality componentry that uh, th th this is just what happens. Uh, th this is a battery that's uh, two years old. It's got maybe 20 cycles on it and most of the time it's uh, spent just sitting around. Uh, I don't have reason to suspect it's been over discharged. I don't have reason to suspect it's been overcharged. Uh, for all I know, uh, this battery has not been abused by the user. The user was a lovely old lady who barely used the device they were shipped with. <sighs> yeah, so I just wanted to uh, follow that up. Uh, so the way I've been this is uh, it in one amp per step. So this is. Uh, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, and then it would go on, but we have no cells that are uh, good enough to make it anywhere near the rated at 12 ampere capacity. And if you have any theories, uh, <laughs> uh, which are more uh, explanatory than just uh, Visa garbage batteries, uh, do let me know. I I would like to have a better explanation for this, but I really can't uh, figure one out. I don't want to uh, be too distraught by this, but it's just, this is just a really sad state of affairs, and I imagine this is not the last time I'm going to be doing this. <laughs>